Hi, I'm here with Jim. My question is, how do you feel about banning smoking and playing with You know, or whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm in favor of banning smoking and playing with Can you tell us about a time where you experienced smoking in a public place? Oh, it's been quite a while. Uh, most of the places I frequent now, it's, there's nobody smoking anyway, so it's, it's been quite a while. Do you think there can be a compromise being made between non-smokers and smokers? Oh, sure. I think compromise is what, what it should be all about. All right, so, thank you. You bet. Hi, I'm here with Ann, and how do you feel about banning smoking in public places? I mean, if it's on the outside, it shouldn't matter. But on the inside, it should be without smoking. Can you tell us how about time you were you been affected by smoking in the I mean, like when you eat and you get full, you want to smoke a cigarette, usually. But I guess it's good because then kids be in there too. Okay. So, yes. yeah. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Sue, and my question is, how do you feel about banning uh, banning smoking in public places? All right, do you, can you tell us about a time where you experienced smoking in public places? Just bars and restaurants. Do you think a compromise can be made between smokers and smokers? Yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's too divided. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So thank much. you. Thanks. Hi, I'm here with. Margaret, and the question is, how do you feel about banning public smoking? Banning public smoking? Yes. Like in the streets? Like in general, like in restaurants or... Okay, I'm for freedom. That should be left up to the restaurant owner, or the store owner, or the park owner, whatever. Uh, that should be the decision. And let it be decided by the marketplace. If the restaurant has smoking and I don't like smoke, I won't go to it. Do you think a compromise can be made between smokers and non-smokers? Yeah, this is my answer. The first answer is the lines are that too. Alright. If, if I smoke, I'll go to a restaurant that caters to smokers. If I don't smoke, I'll go to a restaurant that caters to non-smokers. Okay, thank you very much. But I wouldn't much. want it banned. I mean, okay. That doesn't make sense. Maybe outlawed or what? I'm here with Jeff. Jeff, and my question is, how do you feel about like gaining smoking in public places? Absolutely phenomenal, wonderful, awesome. About it. <laughs> right. Can't wait. Can you tell us about a time where you experienced smoking in a public place? Oh yeah. Um, well, without naming the place, but certainly there's <laughs> plenty around here, and uh, I mean, there's just so many obvious poor it's health a... effects, and you just can't stand it. You stink afterwards, and. Uh, so horrible. I mean, yeah. it was a terrible experience. I had to leave there. Yeah. Um, do you think a compromise can be made between smokers and non-smokers? Uh, sure. There's lots of situations, but um, as a general question, sure. Yeah. yeah. Can you like think of anything that might make a compromise or push harder? Well, obviously there has to be designated areas. Um, Things that don't work is just stepping outside of building and doorways and things and entryways to buildings where non-smokers have to go through and still go through this cloud of smoke. So um, obviously they have the right to smoke. You just have to, uh, I think, have certain areas and have these be very well designated and separate because they want to breathe clean air all the time. So. Um, a creative compromise outside of that, I'd have to think a little bit longer probably than what I could do here. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Okay, good luck. I'm here with Chris, and my question is, how do you feel about banning smoking and public places? Well, I, think, uh, I think it should be up to the owner of the restaurant. I think that a lot of places are going to start putting outside patios yeah, to counteract uh, kind of the May 1st deadline. But, um, I think it should be up to, the, uh, up to the owner of the individual company. Can you tell us about a time where you experience um, public smoking? Every time I go to a restaurant, it has a smoking section. Yeah, and I'm sitting in it, so <laughs> experience it quite a bit. But, uh, uh, do you think um, smokers and non-smokers can reach a compromise? I doubt it. It wouldn't be such a big deal. Um, 
Yeah, I think that the May 1st deadline is probably going to have a pretty big effect on, uh, on the businesses, the, the bars and the clubs. I know the smoke shops aren't affected by it, but the, the bars, I think, will be hit pretty hard unless they put balconies outside. But I think I, I don't think there's a compromise between the two. All right, Either against you. smoking or not. So. All right, okay, thank you. yeah, have a good day. Thanks. I'm here with Sue, and my question is, how do you feel about banning in closed public places, yeah. yeah. Can you tell us about a time where you experienced some um, public smoking? Uh, yeah, I've experienced the, most of my adult life in working conditions. It used to be where I worked, you could smoke and in closed areas. Um, nowadays, it's in restaurants, and actually, I do not go to restaurants where they have smoking allowed, uh, even though they have non smoking sections, because you can uh, very much smell them. Do you think a compromise can be made between smokers and non-smokers? Uh, I don't think so, really. Uh, it's uh, the, the people have to realize about the restaurant folks. Um, they're losing a lot of customers that don't go to places right now because of the smoking uh, that's going on in the buildings. Uh, if the smoking was banned from the buildings, uh, you get customers that aren't going there right now, plus your smokers will be back because where are they going to go to eat? Right. It's for eating. Uh, that's what those establishments All right, well, thank you very much. Okay, all right. I'm here with Connie, and my question is, how do you feel about public smoking? <laughs> well, uh, I find smoking irritating, so uh, I am opposed to public smoking where everybody be so Can you tell us, tell us about a time where you experienced public smoking? Uh, I'm surprised at how often I notice it when I'm sitting in my car and I'm behind somebody at a stoplight who's smoking ahead of me. I don't think they realize you can, you can smell their smoke mm. from that far away. There's all kinds of incidents where I've been annoyed. <laughs> just because I'm allergic to it. I know for those who aren't, they think it's not fair, but for me it's a health issue. It really bothers my health to be around second hands. So I'm against it. Do you think a compromise can be made between smokers and not smokers? Perhaps. For instance, uh, designated areas uh, where the two are going to be together for health issues. And I used to be a smoker. Yeah, I used to be a smoker, so let me call them. Can you tell us a time where you experienced public smoking? Oh, as a smoker or as a non-smoker? Because I can speak from both ways. Anyway, both ways. Well, uh, when I was smoking, I, it didn't bother me if my smoke got on everybody else, but as a non-smoker now, going in areas, even outside of buildings where people are, are smoking, I, I can't get inside the building because of the smoke. So. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here with Laura, and my question is, how do you feel about dating It'll help everyone to be a lot health healthier, but it's too bad we have to have laws to help everyone be healthier. Can you tell us about the time we experienced smoking in a public place? Well, there's this coffee shop that I like to go to that I can't take my daughter into very much because it's so smoky. But it's a really cool place because all sorts of smokers go there and it's like a, I don't know, so it's its own little cultural place that I don't think they would go to unless they were able to smoke. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Do you think a compromise can be made between smokers and non-smokers? 
that far. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thanks.